this is an outdoor gas fire table. Um, I wanted to put it up today and it started raining. So I'm going to start by installing it today inside and then I will put it outside when it's done raining outside and it's not all wet out there. Um, so, and it'll probably be better to install it on the carpet anyways. Um, so that way I don't scratch anything up outside, but I can't wait to get this installed for you guys. You will want to start by carefully removing all the pieces from the carton and make sure that you have all the parts. You can refer to the hardware and package contents list in your manual. So there are two tools required that are not included. You'll need a Phillips um, screwdriver and an M6 wrench. In step one, you will attach the doorknob to the door panel. Step two, you'll attach the legs A, B, C, and D to the tabletop. Then you'll attach back panel E to legs B and C. Do not tighten any of the bolts completely at any of these next few steps. Here you can see I forgot to put panel E in and went to do it before completing step three, which is attaching the side panel G to legs A and B. Step four, attach the side panel with window F to legs C and D. Step five, pull out the control panel and attach it to side panel with window F. Step six, attach the propane tank support to side panel G and side panel F. Next, locate the crossbar in to the back panel E and tank support. Now it is time to finally tighten all the screws from steps two through six. Step seven, attach door eight to leg A. Step eight is the propane tank, which is not included, but we are gonna wait to do this outside. Step nine, open the igniter cover and place the AAA battery into it. Then tighten the igniter cover completely. This is the ignition portion of the burner. Do not cover it while placing the fire glass into the fire bowl. Once the fire glass is all in the bowl, you are ready to put the lid on and enjoy your fire pit table. I just finished putting the fire table together. I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna wait till my husband gets home this evening after work and we'll take it outside and set it up. So here is the fun rocks underneath here. And I like that this cover goes on. So that way hopefully we can keep the rocks hidden from my kids for a while and we'll let them know those are not toys. And we can sit drinking stuff on this during the day when we don't want our fire pit going. And then at night, we can take the cover off and use it. I was so excited to get it lit up on my very first try. It is also super easy to adjust your flame levels. 